Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome back to this week's video. So I am back from my trip to Miami. I would like to take the opportunity in this video to pretty much tell you about my thoughts and general experiences at the International Aroid Show, which I went to last week. Uh, tell you a little bit about that, you know, what went down, what I did on my holiday. And then of course I will show you one or two plants that I have bought at the show. I can't show you all of them for reasons that I will tell you about. Also, in addition to that, I have a couple of plants that I haven't actually bought at the show, but I thought it'd be just as good an opportunity as any to actually just show you them now. So I'm going to show you those afterwards as well. So I did fly to Miami for a week's holiday. So it wasn't just for the show, it was actually just to go and chill out and actually have have some downtime because I actually don't know when I was last on holiday. I think it was a year ago, but honestly, this year has gone so fast, it's such a blur. I don't even know what day it is anymore, actually. So I stayed in Miami Beach. I flew from Manchester Airport to Atlanta and then from Atlanta to Miami. So I had two flights. I think the first flight was eight hours and the second flight was under two hours I think so it took a while to get there I was super super jet lagged I think I lost like an entire day just due to jet lag I've never had jet lag before so that was a little bit difficult for me actually so once the jet lag settled I did spend a couple of days literally just climatizing to the heat because my goodness it is hot out there not only is it hot but it's humid it's like my ideal climate so I loved every second of that but it was a little bit, you know, to adjust to. The Saturday, of course, was the show. I think I got there a little bit late, actually. I must have got there at about 10 a.m. I didn't really know what time I wanted to get there. I knew that the show opened at 9.30, but I didn't want to necessarily be part of the big rush. I thought, let's just wait till it calms down a little bit and then go a little bit later. So I think I got there at about 10, 10.30. I'm not really sure. I'll start by saying I didn't take any footage of this show. Now, I know a lot of you guys, if not all of you, were probably expecting me to do that. However, I think maybe other YouTubers or anyone that goes to events and films them might agree with me. It is not the same filming something with, you know, the lens of your phone as it is to just being there and experiencing it and not having to. I think if I filmed the whole thing, I'd be looking at obviously all the brilliant things that there were to see, but I'd be doing it through a lens this big. And I just, I didn't want to do that. I didn't feel the need to film it. I just wanted to go there, enjoy the plants and meet, you know, tons and tons of new people, which obviously I did. So that is actually the reason I didn't film it. So I apologize. You're not going to see footage of, well, any of it. I think I took a couple of photographs when I was in Miami. Um, I don't think I took any of the show because I think I spent most of the time, you know, talking to you guys. So I didn't have any footage, basically. I'm, I'm pleased that I did that. I know it, it might be a little bit unfortunate for you guys and maybe I can change that next year, but I didn't film any of it and I'm, I'm honestly quite happy with that because I think I got a better experience out of it. So anyway, I get to the, the show. It's smaller than I expect, but the, the crowd is huge. So it's not the biggest room in the world, but it's a huge, huge crowd. So I get in there and I know that I have a couple of things that I need to pick up that I previously purchased before attending the show. So the first thing I knew I had to pick up and take back to the car was this gorgeous, beautiful, variegated philodendron gloriosum. And I know a couple of you that met me earlier on in the day got to see that plant in all of its beauty. I regrettably didn't even get a photo of my plant. It was so hectic in there. I just, I didn't think to get a photograph of it. I can't even show you the plant today because Enid Afolter from NSA Tropicals is actually looking after it for me. So Enid, thank you very, very much for looking after it for me and also for sending me a photograph of said Gloriosum. So here it is. Here is my brand new variegated philodendron Gloriosum and it is absolutely stunning. There aren't many of these. I won this on a Facebook auction actually prior to the show so I didn't buy it through the show in any way but I think there's only a couple of them I think my cutting was sold and then one of the cutting was sold so there aren't many of those about so that's super exciting so what better person to look after that for me than Enid so that plant is safe with Enid for now the second plant I picked up at the show was a philodendron UPI it's pronounced UPI but it's its spelling doesn't necessarily suggest that I have that here with me in the house now but it's still not in the best shape to show you guys. And honestly, I would rather wait for some new growth. But here is a picture I placed on my Instagram of myself with my wonderful new philodendron UPI. Super, super rare, super, super lucky to have that plant. In this picture, I know a few people said it looks sickly. 
Um, that's algae. The greenhouse it was grown in, there was a lot of algae on the plant. So the plant is actually in good health. The algae just needs removed, basically. So don't be too worried about that. It's not diseased, it's not sickly, it's fine. Once that had happened, I kind of, I was in the show, I left the show, I came back to the show, I left the show, I came back to the show just to collect some plants from people, collectors that I bought these plants from, to take them to the car and bring them back in. So if people saw me disappear and come back, that's what I was doing. A friend of mine named Alexandra also gave me some cuttings as a gift and she gave me these cuttings in sphagnum moss in a wonderful blue Tupperware box and I know that like when I when I met a lot of you guys and when I spoke to you guys and when I had a photograph with you guys this damn Tupperware box is in like every image and it looks so awkward I don't know why I didn't just put the Tupperware down you may see that box on nearly everybody's Instagram photos that they took with me because for some reason, I just didn't think it was going to be in the photograph, so I just kind of held my Tupperware box really awkwardly. So it's in most photographs, which doesn't really bother me, except I did meet some rain oaks there at the show, and I asked her to take a picture, and I didn't let go of my Tupperware box. So there's this wonderful picture of me and some rain oaks at the show, and me with this really awkward Tupperware box. So. For all intents and purposes, in my mind, I'm just going to kind of crop that out and pretend that's less awkward. So apart from the awkward Tupperware, I did get to meet, like, a lot of you guys. Like, I didn't expect that many people to want to speak to me and meet me. So that was just, honestly, it was the highlight of my entire day. I don't think I was able to move across the room very quickly. Um, I think I would speak to somebody, I would move maybe about, I don't know, literally three feet, and then I'd be speaking to someone else. Um, that it was it was just awesome. It was very unexpected. I have to say I wasn't expecting any of that So thank you very much to those of you that came up and introduced yourself and said hi and chat to me about the show Genuinely, I enjoyed meeting every single one of you I've seen a lot of photographs on Instagram that you guys have tagged me in I think there's some others that I haven't seen yet, but there's so many people there and it was just generally a really positive vibrant like buzzing atmosphere around these plants. Obviously there was vendors selling plants as well. There was an auction going on in the background. There was a lot of hustle and bustle. It was genuinely fantastic. It really, really was fantastic. It was the best experience ever. After that, I think I stayed at the show from maybe about 10 a.m. ish till about 2 p.m. I think. And I had to basically leave, get some food, go back to my hotel room, reconvene, and then come back out because I went to the International Allied Society dinner and auction on the night, which again was just brilliant. I don't have photographs or footage of that either, but I'll tell you a little bit about how that went down because it was just so awesome. So the night began with a wonderful talk from Jay Vanini. I think that's how I pronounce your name. I'm very sorry if I pronounce it wrong. That was a really fantastical talk on the history of aroids and just generally looking at some cool hybrids. It was a really, it was, I'm not doing that any justice. It was a really long talk, but it was a fantastic talk. So we sat there for that. We broke for a little bit of something to eat and then the auction started. And I was actually looking forward to this auction pretty much the entire day. I know I spoke to a few of you guys about it on how much I was looking forward to it and what might be there. I did pick up a couple of plants. I'm staring at them right now. So I will get on to what I bought at the auction in a moment. But I just wanted to say to everyone that I met, took photographs with, and that includes, you know, collectors, people like Enid, Mick, every single one of you that I met, I really enjoyed myself. I can't wait to come back next year. I had an absolute blast and it was, the enthusiasm was palpable. And I think everybody can sit there that went to the show and say that it was absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to come back. So thank you to everybody I met. Thank you to everybody that I spoke to. It was just the best experience. It was well worth the trip. Well worth the trip. So I guess now I can go on to showing you briefly what I picked up at the auction and a couple of plants that I totally haven't picked up at the auction, but they're new as of this week anyway. So I think I'll just show you them. So the first thing, well, it's not the first thing. I'll tell you right now, two of these plants are stuck together because that's how they were taken home. So, and it's not the full plant. These are actually diminished smaller versions of the actual plants that I got. But two plants I won at auction were these. This here is a philodendron pink princess. It is some of it, it is not all of it. The rest of it is in the office. Don't worry to anyone that saw this pink princess in real life at the show, it's absolutely fine, it's just next door. It actually snapped 
I got into someone's car that night, taking it home from the show, and there was a few of us in the back of the car, and I don't know if somebody stepped on it or what, but when I got it back, it was not a single stem was attached, they all snapped at the stem. So I was pretty terrified because this is, to be honest, one of the nicest pink princesses I've ever seen. It really is beautiful. Um, I won this at the auction. I paid $250 for this. Uh, no, it wasn't, it was $260, I think. But as I say, it was like three times the size of this, but I do have them next door. Yeah, look at that though. I'll just show you this close up because it, it's honestly, it's just, it's the best. I'm just, is it gonna focus? I think that's focusing. Look at that. Oh, there's another one here. Leaf's torn a little bit. Another one here. Another one here. So generally, it's one of the finest pink princesses in terms of variegation I've ever seen, personally. I don't think nowadays the pink princesses that are coming to market, the variegation on them is, it's not brilliant. Plus, variegation can kind of disappear when you cut them and then it'll come back at a later date. So generally on the market, I'm not seeing great specimens. This is really nice. So I'm very, very lucky to have this. On the other side, and again, this isn't the full specimen. So this one is a variegated philodendron Jose Bono. I think that's how you say it correctly. It is like, I saw this, like I was sat on a table that was super, super near all the plants that were being auctioned, which was no accident, by the way. I just wanted a sneak peek because I'm a little bit obsessed. And I sat there because I saw this from a distance and I saw this beautiful, you know, variegation that was just, just insane levels of variegation. And I saw it from a distance and I was like, what is that? I, I would like that very much. So obviously I bid on this one and I won this one. Again, this is probably a third of the size. Um, I paid $300 for this one here. So I'll show you these. Uh, please focus, this is not the time. There we go. That's one leaf there, as slow as I can. Then we have another one here, which I'll try and just hold it back. It might actually be easy to not bring it right up to the camera. There's another one and here, there is another one, but it is, much smaller than what it should be. Um, it's been, it's in pieces. But this is how they were shipped together, so. Oh, I'll just show you the stem on the pink. Because it's beautiful. And the stem on the hose right there. Is that so focusing? Hope it is. So really, really, really gorgeous plants. I really wish that I had a, a video from the auction because I actually had the best time bidding. I've never bid for anything at an auction before. It's kind of addictive. Like I, I get the buzz with auctions. It was the most fun thing I've ever done. So I'm 100% gonna do that next year as well. Uh, I regret nothing. Look at this. I mean, even that as like a cluster of plants looks like the most beautiful thing you've ever seen. So I'm gonna get these potted up as soon as humanly possible. I'm a little bit late recording this, so I think these might be delayed a little bit longer, but how beautiful. Oh, and obviously head test. Right, let me pop this down and I'm gonna show you the other stuff I've got that isn't, um, it wasn't purchased at the show. This is other stuff that I've got in and some of it's actually gonna be in my shop. So before I very, very quickly tell you about that, this is kind of just a general update video, by the way. It's obviously my thoughts on the show and what I got, but it's kind of, it's kind of general. So I got a couple of things in for me and I got some things in for the shop. So I'm just gonna show you what they are because I have the most beautiful new addition to my plant collection and it is way cooler than what I thought it was gonna be, okay? This, this, just, just wait. So. I'm gonna hold it up while I introduce it because it's so big, it's just gonna eat the entire frame. I may have to move my Clarinervium here just out of the way, but this is the weirdest thing I've ever done. Okay, so I have a new plant in my collection and I'm very excited about it. And this is the Anthurium Plowmanii Variegata. Have you seen this? Oh my God, okay, okay. I'm so excited, honestly, right. Let me just, I think this isn't variegation. I'll start by saying that as a dead leaf. So don't be like, yeah, oh, that variegation, yes. It's not, you can actually see it's a different color anyway. I'll try and hold it the best I can. It's, it's huge. So I'm sorry if I can't really get like good detail, shall we say. It does need a little bit of a wash actually. There's some watermarks on there. It'll be fine, I will wash it. I'll probably take it outside on the balcony and give it like a good rinse. But this is Anthurium Plowmanii variegata. And one thing I didn't know about this plant was like how rigid it is. Um, it's, it's just solid, look. It's absolutely solid. 
It's just, it's a unit, right? It's Tonk, it's wonderful. Let me just show you this close up. Look, <gasps> oh, <laughs> let's have a look at some variegation up close. I'll see if I can show you the best I can. There you go, lovely. I'll just kind of show you what I can on camera. That's the growth point there, the undersides. It's, it is, a, it's a little bit big to show you, you know, efficiently on camera, but it, it's just, it's unbelievable. There is a, a, you know, a new leaf growing in the middle. It's just awesome. And I'm, I'm, I'll say it again, I'm shocked at how rigid they are. I didn't think they would be like that. Um, so I'm just super, super, super buzzing about it. But there is some good news. There is some good news because as cool as this is, I have some smaller ones and you may or may not know where I'm going with this. Give me one moment. So I found these, they are not as big, obviously, but they are still kind of big. Like that's obviously that's like the size of my head there. So it's, it's not small. Um, and obviously great variegation again, smaller than the big one I just showed you. Is that focusing? Um, this one actually has a bloom on it. So there you go. You may see this on the shop very shortly. And by shortly, I mean within the next two weeks, but likely the next week. So keep your eyes out for that. I will put something out on Instagram about these. So as long as you follow my shop on Instagram, you won't miss out on that at all. I will let you know when they're out. The second thing I have in, I, I, I think I just got these because my love for them is so strong. And I'm not going to get rid of mine because it's actually the plant that started the entire concept for this channel for me. But I do want to get another one that's a little bit bigger because I'm kind of sick of waiting. So let me show you what I've got. You might be able to guess what it is. I don't know. Depends how long you've been with me on my channel, but it's basically the first, you know, rare plant that I ever got. And that is the Monstera Thai Constellation. But mine is very small. I got it when it was maybe, I don't know, like... Maybe like a foot high. It wasn't very big at all. So I've got a bit of a larger one and I'm going to put it probably in my living room next to the TV back there somewhere. I haven't fully decided yet. Again, this needs planting up, but I got myself a really, really big Thai constellation and it's still, you know, still in its moss, but look at this. Oh girl, can I even head test with this? There, reasonable. I think we can all agree. My little tie is, can you see it? Eh, it's like there where my thumb is, I think. So it's, if you know my tie and you've seen my repot with me video that I just did like a couple of weeks ago, you'll know that this is substantially bigger. It's so gorgeous. I can't wait to plant this up. I, I don't feel like I've cheated. Maybe I have cheated actually in the wait to get from, you know, like the little juvenile plant to this, but so what? So, which brings me on to my second great piece of news, and that is that I have also sourced smaller ones for the shop. But they, if you've ever seen Thai in my shop before, they were much smaller than what this is. This is bigger. So I've sourced some for the shop that are closer to this size. And I think the ones I used to sell in my shop were similar to the one that, you know, I originally bought. These are bigger as well. This here is quite a large tie yeah so these will also be appearing on my shop quite soon i think again within the next two weeks so i just wanted to kind of tell you about that i wasn't gonna but i thought you know what i'm kind of busy i don't know how long it's gonna be till i can put it on instagram so i thought the best thing to do would be to show you now especially since they've been living right here behind me in amongst these plants like right here so i thought well, i'll just pick them up and tell you about them why not so that is my wonderful Monstera Thai Constellation that I have that are going to drop in the shop shortly. Again, I'll keep you updated. I think that basically concludes briefly, you know, my time at the show, how much fun I had, the things I, you know, bought at the auction and a couple of other miscellaneous things, i.e., you know, the plant money I that I bought and I have some smaller ones at the shop. Same with the Thai. I think that's it. Thank you very much for your time today. I should be able to resume normal videos shortly. So within the next couple of weeks, I would say my videos will probably go back to what they were. That actually includes rare plant indexes. So very, very exciting times. I think, I think I've finally got a handle on it. So that's super awesome. I'm super excited for that. And also, please do tune in for next week's video because I already know what it is. I haven't recorded it yet, but I know what it is and it is a good one. So I can't wait to see you guys next week. 
Thank you very much for your time this week and I will see you next week. Have a great weekend, guys, whatever you're doing, and I will see you later. Bye.